today we're going to be using Iron Ball Articuno. Iron Ball Articuno. And you may be thinking that's like kind of weird. Is that so it's slow in TR? Well, yeah, it's so if you set TR, you go, uh, you know, you can actually go first because it cuts your speed. But also, Iron Ball makes you a grounded Pokemon. And if you're a grounded Pokemon, you're able to actually get the benefit of using Expanding Force. Normally, since Articuno is a flying type, it, Expanding Force doesn't become like that AoE move that it normally works as when like an Indy or Hatterene uses it. Because the Pokemon using Expanding Force has to be grounded to actually make contact with the Psychic Terrain. So now that we're going to make Articuno make contact with the Psychic Terrain, we're going to gain the, the damage boost from the uh, from the Expanding Force and be able to just absolutely melt people. It's a super cool team. I like, I like this team a lot. You know, what's funny about this team is this team is actually a Comfey of Eltal team. I'm not sure if you guys even noticed that. It is a Comfey of Eltal team. I still want to use the ones that I was using. But I'm never going to have to use it. I'm always going to be able to go with just these four. I'll see. Uh, I really hope that they don't go like... I will, we'll see how this goes. I'm not too afraid of Thievil, actually. I'm not too afraid of Thievil. The last Pokemon that we fought that like used Snarls against us was like a full special attack investment Yveltal with a Dark Roar boost. Thievil was not that Pokemon. Captain Foxy, what a cool name on Shiny Thievil. I'll see what they do, maybe it's weakness policy. That looks like it's gonna be weakness policy, right? That Snarl would chunk me. <laughs> Nothing I can actually do about that actually. I might have to max Airstream. Or I could just like raw hurricane it. I'm still gonna trick room. I wonder if they're gonna snarl. We'll see. He's maxing. Alright, cool. That's I'm happy that I redirected then. I'm happy that he's following me. I really think it's a uh, policy. I really think it's policy people. Huh. And then he unburdens after the policy proc. That's that's super cool. That's how people should play this Pokemon. I'm about to mess it up though, because he's gonna give me a max darkness and lower my special D. Draining kiss, go for it. Yep. Yippers. So let's go. And he gets an unburdened proc. Or follow me in. Oh, follow me in DD. Dark. Very most is a cool Pokemon. Yeah, so Sash is up there. I think he just followed me again. Um, should I max? I could max here. Is there a plus two? What class do you play in WoW? Uh, my favorite's Rogue, but the current best character I have with all my gears is my Shadow Priest. Uh, let's see. Do you think plus two Okos? Like plus two Hurricane? I don't want a Hurricane because like, I'm Trick or Ming. I think I'm just going to Expanding Force. I know I just want to get the Comfy off the board, basically. And then I'll be able to double into the evil on the next turn. Yeah. Monk and Demon Hunter. I want to play a Monk. Uh, I play on Horde right now, but I have a max level Alliance Rogue if I want, if I ever want to use it. Now, let's see. I'm just going to one-shot this Comfy. You guys ready for this? He's gonna watch. He's gonna try and like draining kiss my entity. It will not work. All right, let's say he didn't try. I'm getting this. In, I'm getting this thing off the board. Yeah, I have a max level alliance rogue if I need it. So let's go. That's a plus two expanding force. Whew, that's always that's always fun to see. And then he's gonna get a second. Oh, he's mind storming. All right, that's actually fine. He didn't want to give any more competitive procs. I see how it is. Um, I underspeed that thing with my everything. Just go T-Tar. I think if we double into that thing, we get the Kale on it. I might even have to, I'm probably gonna Airstream. I know it seems weird, but uh, I think we're all right. Gastro, yeah, I don't care about that. Don't care about Gastro. Dark or a Thievul. <laughs> yeah, not, not yet, <laughs> we're saving that. We know the last one's probably Palkia. So it's max time. Airstream's up. 
This is still the strongest move. Let me get those let me get those procs. Hopefully this KOs. We're at plus two. 60 Hunter, Warrior, Paladin, Shaman, DK Monk, and Alliance. What server do you play on? I think my uh my alliance characters are all on Proud more. I'm gonna get I'm gonna one-shot this thing. But he wasn't expecting the Max Articuno. Tychondrius. I have a uh I have characters on Tychondrius and Kelpizod, actually. I actually have characters on both of them, but they're just not, um, they're not max. They're, like, in the 40s, I think. I think you have a Hunter on one and, uh, a DK on the other. Ice Beam, go for it. Don't you, don't you dare freaking freeze me. All right, that's a Life Orb Gastrodon. Nobody likes that. <laughs> Everyone disliked that. <laughs> just one shot of the max that we take those. All right, crit, we take those. Oh, this sucks. We actually one-shotted it, so our T-Tar's gonna get redirected. That's fine. At least I wasn't using, like, Thunderbolt or something. That Gastro is slow. The grind from 50 to 60 is miserable, I believe it. Didn't even need the crit. No, I didn't, I doubled into it. Let's give me, give me Ancient Power proc. I asked nicely. I, I nicely asked. Never lucky. Been playing since vanilla, so any leveling now is cake. I believe it. I might come back for the BC, uh, like, classic thing as well. Um... Because I play, I started playing in BC. So there's Palkia. Let's see what I actually want to do with this Pal. Like what I want to do against it. It's a Life Orb Gastro. Two turns left on TR. We have a Yavalt Hall in the back. I think you max guard for sure here. I think you actually just want to like go after this Gastrodon. I will see though. I could be super wrong here. Like if he just nukes my Titar, I'm so sad. All right, cool. We take the bait. Took in the bait. And I under speed at plus one. I still under speed that, uh, what is it? Whatever guy. Surf! Okay. That's not good. Everyone disliked that. Ow. Mm. If that was Telepathy Palkia, he could, like, double surf here. That'd be sick. Let's see. He's gonna be able to take out my Articuno. Right? And then I'm left all alone on my last turn of TR. Do I actually... This is the last turn of TR. I think I'm going to fish for an Ancient Power proc on that Palkia. Muddy Water, go for it. Don't miss. Oh, he misses! Don't. I told you not to miss. Didn't, didn't I tell you to not miss? He crit! Alright, that's fair. He missed. He missed on one, right? That is fair that he misses there. And he gets his crit. That's completely fair and balanced game. That's immediate karma. Alright, so as long as my Tito doesn't die here, give me a special D-boost. Let, let me have that. Let me get that! Never lucky. Doesn't need to be telepathy, but I could be, though. Alright. Titar thick. I'm pretty sure I KO the Gastro with my T-Tar here. I'm pretty sure that I do. And then we should be able to deal with that Palkia. Also, our Dark Aura moves are getting, like, boosted now. So, like, Dark Pulse from T-Tar hitting, like, a truck. And we should be able to outspeed that Palkia. If not, I don't... He has to crit me, basically. Um, we'll just go for a Dark Pulse on the Palkia. And a Dark Pulse into the Gastro. I think this is probably correct. Again, the only thing that messes me up is if that's a full speed Palkia that Surf crits my T-Tar. He has to crit me with the Surf. And if he protects Yastro and we weaves in a Surf here, I still think I'll be fine because then I'll just target Yastro next turn with Yavalta and I'll be fine. Palkia is protecting. Cool. That means I did the right play. I made the perfect targeting by targeting it just like this. And we take those. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dark Aura Stab Dark Pulse. Yes. The big damage. When you try your best and you don't succeed, you become this guy. I didn't get an Ancient Power proc, though. That's that's unfortunate. I mean, maybe he, he can still Surf Crit everything. 
Spatial Ren, yo, he wants it. He's fishing for those crits. And you get nothing. Even a crit, I still would have lived to about 5 or 10 HP. Man, Yveltal is straight busted. The double Dark Pulse all the way across the sky. That's good. That was actually pretty nice. And we take the wins. Expanding Force busted. Busted, busted. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna show you guys how expanding force works. So we're gonna go Articuno. We're gonna go NDD. We're gonna go Titar. I still think Yveltal is good, even though like all those things get super big rock moves. And let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for series nine. This guy's a series nine team. I, I like I don't like restricteds. So restricteds are dumb. Basically, one of my favorite teams that I'm gonna pretty much play in like series nine is gonna be like Sand Mandibuzz. I think Sand Mandibuzz is so good you want infernate back infernate is pretty good like it gets fake out it gets encore u-turn uh good special like and physical coverage probably gonna get like coaching and stuff like that so now yeah, we'll see yo what's good we're using iron ball articuno today iron ball articuno and we're trying to get those wins i think we'll get it i think we're gonna get the biggest expanding force anyone's ever seen but yeah, Mandibuzz is super slept on in, like, Series 9. Got my stimulus, so I've decided to sp uh, spread the wealth. Oh my gosh. Yo, don't go too hard. People need those stimulus. I actually thought about that the other day. Someone told me. Yo, Waddle's also going prime for 26 months. Thank you for being an absolutely amazing sub. I've been seeing you've been playing a ton of uh, World of Warcraft. And, uh... Hopefully you're having fun. Every time I see you play WoW, I think to myself, I should play some WoW. And a couple of times, it's got me to turn the game on. So, like, my friend, World of Warcraft should pay you to, uh, you know, they should pay you for advertising. On that PvP grind, I'm, not, I'm probably going to come back for, like, 9.05 or whatever. I played, I played, like, two days ago. All right, so he has his reign up. He's ready. No tournament this week. That's right, no tournament. I think he'll use the Kingdra for sure. But yeah, someone told me, they're like, hey, Philip, which is my name in real life. They're like, you're a streamer, right? And I was like, yeah, they're like, you should totally be streaming a lot. Everyone got their stimuluses. Like, you could capitalize on that. And I was like, that's not, that's not what the stimuluses are for. <laughs> the stimuluses are to help people that need it. You know what I mean? I always feel really bad um, when people go, like, super hard in, like, uh, donations or gifts. Because, like, I was like, what if they need that money, you know? But also, I, I need money, because there's things that I like. I have expensive tastes. I don't actually have expensive tastes. Maybe I do. I like having, I like having, if I'm going to have something, and I want it to be nice, I like having at least one good thing. Like that, so like, that's a Squire base. It's easy, it's not super high end, it's not super low end. That acoustic electric is pretty low end, but I did a lot of research and found exactly what I wanted. But that, the brown one is a jazz, it's like a Fender like uh, player jazz master and it's nice i never need to replace that that's gonna be the oh my gosh <laughs> we're just talking about someone popping off he's going for the muddy water which is the right play um because you want to play around the following here but freaking 10 gifted subs omg i want him to get an axe drop on me by the way oh he dropped the wrong one never lucky but 10 gifted subs darth absolutely popping off omg Holy moly, my friend, 377 total gifted in the channel. Guys, we got to put some subs up for Darth. Oh, my freaking goodness. Thank you so much, my friend. Going to the very top of the sub gifter leaderboard. And then Pika Trainers gifted five tier one subs as well. I can't be super loud because we got neighbors. But, you know, we got a hype train popping off. Darth, uh, Pika Trainer, oh my gosh, you guys are absolutely amazing right now. I can't even believe this. Thank you so much for the support. Hopefully you guys are doing okay though. Like I, I like I said, I don't want to be the guy that just capitalizes on stimmies, but I do appreciate it. I haven't got my stimulus yet, actually, but holy moly, both of you guys, thank you so much for being uh, absolutely amazing friends, uh, members of the stream. We got more people gifting subs. We got Bubonic Buffalo gifting 10 subs. We got Mr. Uh, Doe DLD gifting 5 tier 1 subs. We got Izzy with 300 bits. Everything is popping up. I still gotta play the game. Yo, let's go for an expanding force. There's the terrain up. We're gonna hit both these guys. They're gonna follow me because that Escavalier is scary. But holy moly. I can't even believe this right now. This is the this is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. Everyone is popping off with those sub gifts. It's time. 
We're putting the big sub up right now. We're putting the big, big, big sub up. Holy moly. My financial situation was perfectly stable, don't worry. Yo, thank you, everyone. Really, I, I can't even say thank you. Uh, Bubonic Buffalo, uh, Mr. Doe DLD. We, we got uh, Darth, we got Pika Trainer. I can't even believe all this generosity, my friends. You guys are so freaking amazing. And that is just, you guys are the kindest people I've ever seen in my, in my entire existence. In my entire existence. Uh, we just sent out that T-Tar here. Probably gonna max the T-Tar. It's so weird. Uh, are we actually maxing this T-Tar? Where's my Stimbo Jimbo? <laughs> I've, I've heard that. So Sandstream's up. Uh, let's see how this actually works because that uh, as Cavalier is going to be a huge jerk to deal with. Expand in force. Um, let's actually think about this. They have the Pelipper, so I'm actually going to Rock Ball in case they want to switch in Pelipper. Got your stimulus check earlier this week and I got paid today. Holy moly. You're absolutely popping off right now. But I can't believe it. We are a, we're at 267% into level 5 of a hype train. That's like absolutely crazy. This Cavalier is outspeeding Articuno. I'm sure. I'm sure that it is. But you guys are so amazing. I can't even do it. Um, that is just so kind. That's so kind. Bubonic Buffalo. Mr. Doe. Pika Trader. Darth. Uh, Izzy. A lot of like everyone. Holy moly, Scorpio, Eagle Puke. I, every single one of you guys that drop subs, I definitely appreciate it. I don't think I've ever seen a Hype Train get destroyed that fast. That's right. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have either. Mega Horn, go for it. I won't die. I'm thick, T-Tar. We got that dummy thick, T-Tar. So Expanding Force, you like this? Look at this. Expanding Force hits both because we Iron Ball. Like, we dummy thick. And then, yeah, we could we could have went for like a... Uh, what is it? We could have went for an Earth Power. I didn't want an Earth Power in case I, he switched in Pelipper. I didn't want to max Lightning because I wanted to keep my terrain. Um, and I didn't feel the need to Dark Pulse there. I just wanted to do it like that in case he switched in Pelipper. So let's go. Let's go. He hasn't maxed yet, right? But he's going to send out Pelipper and something. And we're just going to Rock Ball Expanding Force so the cows come home. I wonder if they know that they should be like wide guarding against Articuno. <laughs> if I expect them to wide guard, I can go... No, that wouldn't work. But like I was gonna say, like I can go uh, max lightning to take change the terrain. Is it Kingdra? Show me that Kingdra. Oh, Dreadnought. Not bad. Mega one definitely a lot, but not enough. Not enough. I think we actually ignore the uh, Pelipper. As weird as that sounds. Um, obviously, we're going for the big expanding force. And probably just a max quake into the Dreadnought. I don't know if we can KO there, but like I'm gonna try. We don't really need to change the weather. If, if we get wide guarded, he could do it. Like, if he does it, he does it. You know what I mean? If he does it, he does it. There's nothing I can do about it. Give him the Pelipper? No, you don't want to go up to the Pelipper. What's Pelipper going to do? Pelipper ain't got nothing against you, Voltal. Dreadnought's good. He's probably maxing this turn. It's probably G-Max. Oh, not G-Max. Which is still fine. Because he wants to be able to reset the weather. Which is why I didn't go for a Rock Ball. There's no reason for me to be in Trick Room and Rock Ball there. Uh, rock Ball the Pelipper. Because he just needs a Water Attack. So it's better to just go for like the Sped F boosts. See the rain is up. But we have a, it's a Trick Room. Right? So it's like there's no reason to set Sand here. Because he's taking my Sand away right now. He'd be taking my Sand away like right now. It's just better to go exactly how I did it. You see? It's almost like, I, it's almost like I'm the professional. Plays the game correctly. Like, rain doesn't matter for anything. We have Yveltal in the back. The Hype Train success. Level 5 Hype Train emotes. Yo, we take those. Hype Potion. He's gonna Hurricane. Finally, he gets Articuno off the board. After it fired off like a million expanding forces. What does Dreadnought's uh, move do again? Uh, like, are you talking about G-Max move? It sets Stealth Rocks. Which is super nice, actually. I like it a lot. One of my favorite teams in, like, Series 6 was uh, G-Max Dreadnought. Like, the vested G-Max Dreadnought team that I used for a while. That was actually, like, super, super anti-meta. Because it would, it destroyed all the people that are using Porygon Z. And it destroyed all the people that are using, like, Sin. So it was really, really fun to use. Yeah, and then uh, we just win. Let's just style on him. Max Lightning. Max Lightning. You don't see T-Tar use Max Lightning all that often. But when it does, whew, it cooks. Definitely cooks. So we, we definitely take those. 
Yeah, this Cavalier is kind of hard to deal with. It is kind of hard to deal with, but... We don't say T-Tar was already. You have Max Flare T-Tar. Max Flare T-Tar is good too, but like, for teams that still need the weather, <laughs> you can't you can't use the Max Flare. My favorite hidden fire user was always Gyarados. With the flamethrower, that was one of my favorites. Die Alga. Okay. And the Incineroar. And Landorus. So let's just guard Akuno. Man, that Grimstone's gonna be hard to beat too. I mean, hold up, hold up. Hold the phone. Hold up. I'm just gonna win. Let's just win. We could go Articuno, or we could just win. You know, winning is a a part-time. Winning's fun. I I I do enjoy partaking in those wins. So let's see what he leads with. You could totally set screens here. That'd be annoying as hell. Um, but we'll see what he goes. That's a really good team, by the way. Yeah, PvP is fun. I like PvP and World of Warcraft. My favorite thing is pet battle PvP. That's where the real fun is. What's the berry on Comfey? It's a Babiri Berry. I think Babiri Berry is probably the best item on Comfey. Especially on like a team where like you can break like a sash. Because you don't ever want to have like... Comfey Titar actually happens quite often with this team. And so you just be breaking your own sash. I think Mentorm's also good. I like uh, Rocky Helmet. But in terms of like damage direction berries. Uh, when I was making this team for one of my Patreons. I explained basically. Everyone's like, oh don't use... Damage Direction Barrier on Comfey, what if they have Calyrex? And I was like, Calyrex ain't using Max Steel Spike. So, like, even though Unnerved Mons are popular, they're usually, like, they'd have to be going Calyrex Metagross and then maxing their Metagross for that to even kind of be a problem. And then if they have a board of Calyrex and Metagross, well, good thing my team is Yveltal, right? You see how, it, like, it's, it's okay we're able to use this Damage Reduction Barrier because... We're not reducing damage from what the unnerved mon uses, right? So if they like, you don't ever want to use a ghost reduce berry or like a psychic reduce berry in this format because Calyrex hits you for those, is on the board and turns you off. But you can have uh, other damage reduction berries that still work great. Like Chopper Berry's still good, but Berry's still good. Uh, Aka Berry's still usable. Yachi Berry's busted. Let's see, Feeny Grim. I'm just going to airstream up. I want to see if they go for, like... I'll be bad. We'll be bad for one turn. Because, like, I bet you they're light screening. But, like, we'll see. I hope they don't... I will see how... Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. Because I don't... They can't do anything to the Avelt Hall. And they can't Thunder Wave the Comfey. They could fake out Comfey, but Comfey's too fast. Like, I, I think they're just light screening. I, if I were them, I would just light screen. And if I get the Grim off the board, that's really, really nice. Because I don't want to let them get a light screen and reflect, because my wind condition is actually the extra on the back. Is it going to do a lot of damage to Belt Hall? It won't. It will It will not. <laughs> one of one of those Haze Feenies. Ooh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. I would not be surprised to see one of those Haze Feenies. Light screen Haze. That would suck. That would indeed be not great. He's maxing. So it's one of those max... Is he maxing the Grim? Or maxing the Feeny? I think he maxed the Feeny here. But we'll see. Yep. Cool. That works. That totally works. Feeny's a great maximon against Sand. So even great. Even better against like Sand Yveltal. But we'll see. So Drain Kiss is up. You'll be thick. Policies. Get those Airstream boosts. And we're going to one-shot this Grim. There's light screen. I still think we one-shot. I still think... We, if we don't one-shot, that's bad. Um, but I still think that we do. Boom. That sucks. That's really bad. Because now it gets reflected up. That's probably going to cost me the game right there. So, like, we just really need to elongate this game and wait out eight turns of screens now to, like, win correctly. Let's see what damage even does to us, though. That's not enough. This is still bad, though. No, you say Grim Cell is too bulky to one-shot. No, this Yveltal is not max special attack. Um, otherwise, it would have. Fake tears. It won't work. So he doesn't have replay. That's great. 
And we're getting a special D drop on the Fiend. Great. That's totally great. I love that. And let's see if he's actually going after the Kumpei slot this turn. I don't mind the Fini maxing turn one because, like, even he has to crit us here for it to be a problem. The fact that he doesn't KO there means we're fine. I still think we'll be able to uh, foil healing out of this range. Uh, maybe not. It's hard to say, really. Now, let's see what he sends out here. This is the problem. Oh, come on. Lando. Okay. I can KO the Lando right now if I wanted. I think I will. Oh, for the Fini player, yeah. Yeah, he had to max that, I think, there, too. I'm really surprised he's not, like, orbed. I'm really surprised to not see orb. Like, very, very surprised. Um, yeah, we're just gonna always switch it. His last mon has to be Dialga in the back. And we outspeed this Lando. Unless he's Scarfed. Cool. This won't kill the Lando. Um, actually, I don't think it does. Okay, I'm surprised that that did. Because remember, he still has light screen up, guys. Is that a crit? That's just how much that does. See, see, I told you. Like, you built all busted. That's the power of Dark War, guys. That's the power right there. Who are you hitting, though? Geyser. You guys are in the, uh, you built all slot. Yes. It's almost like I play the game. And now he's out of max turns, right? So now I can start Oblivion winging and, uh, healing. Max healing. Yveltal absolutely busted. And that Feeny is at minus two specialty. To cover up for the fact that the light screen's on the board. Reason I saw a bullet chip on top next to the Dynamax weakness policy. Comfey. Yo, that's actually really cool. Show me that Dialga. If you want to, like, trick room me, I'll send out my T-Tar. I'll show you, I'll show you how a real man eats a chocolate sandwich cookie if you want to, uh, <laughs> you want to do that. All right, so watch this value. We're going to floral healing and pop the biggest wing of oblivion you've ever seen and just full heal. What nature is Yveltal? This Yveltal is, he just scoops because that game was over. That game was over. Uh, this Yveltal is, I think, timid nature. Thank you.